of Howie Dusta. <laughs> so this is the uh, 50th episode. This is the, does that look good? You know what I find? After 50 episodes, we cut, we get it like we're smooth rolling now. Hey, right? I, Who should we have on the 50th episode, Jackie? <laughs> Who, Who do, should they have on the 50th episode? Who should we have on our 50th episode? I want a I friend. Don't know. Yeah. I want somebody that is fun. Yeah. I, I want somebody. I mean, good the 50th looking. is a number. Will you? Uh, good looking. Well, look. We'll think about it. Somebody beautiful. Uh huh. Somebody with and, someone with really pretty feet. Cannot <laughs> think of who to have on the fiftieth episode of Howie Mandel does stuff. Who? Oh, we're gonna come up with a guest. I think we are. I'll think of someone. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Let's do one more take. I love it. You got to keep all this. Are we rolling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. just keep it on. Don't this ever... is the 50th episode of How He Does Stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. Guess who's going to be the guest? Let Ew. me guess. Don't tell me. Don't ruin it for me. Don't ruin it for me. I'm talking to you, Heidi. Don't ruin it for me. <laughs> okay? Who? But, no, Who? this is going to be, it's fun to Who? guess. What? Here, go okay, I'm going to give a clue. Can you tell by the voice who it is? It's hot. <laughs> do you want to shoot my legs for the 50th episode of how he does stuff i think people want to do more than shoot your legs what <laughs> kind of stuff does how he do we will find out <laughs> yeah you doing i should have that voice but i don't sadly <laughs> Her <Can you? laughs> Welcome to Howie Mandel Does Stuff. I'm Howie Mandel. My daughter, the stuff. Uh, uh, Jacqueline Schultz. Uh, she just said she can't hear anything, and then she looked no, at I her. No, I can hear now. I Why can hear. couldn't you hear? Because my headphones weren't plugged in. <laughs> yeah, well, you're learning technology. Yeah. Um, uh, Lou is always here. And Ooh. a really good friend. A really good friend and probably one of the brightest shining stars of our planet, let alone. Oh, <laughs> wow. I think that <laughs> piling it on thick. Well, I am piling it on thick, but but it is uh, you are thick. I don't mean no. that in a nice way. I mean like everything that you can say nice about a person from the inside, because everybody knows how nice you are on the outside. I'm thick from the inside. Yeah. Okay. That's weird. That was that, that <laughs> so was like awkward. A ASMR. Uh, uh, people are uh, enjoying. You know how many people just. Uh, I just really love having headphones because don't you want to change your voice all the time then? How about no. English? Can you try English? If I was on the radio, yeah. I would <laughs> always want to speak down here. Really? Really? Yeah. Have you ever done like phone? So it's Heidi Klum, no. by the way. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> because Hi. I've been always teased that I have this most annoying voice, which I understand I have. It's very high and like. Ning, 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 ning. So in my. People tease you about your voice? Of course. No, I didn't know that. I didn't hear anything weird. I haven't heard any. The only person I ever heard uh, like really give you a hard time about your voice is Howard Stern. Oh yeah, that's when, true. When he was sitting beside you, because you would you would sing in between. But I gotta say that this, you know, it's funny because, uh, and you're the first guest that has done this uh, for us or for yourself or for the world. Is you came in to do the podcast and you came in in a totally different outfit and changed, dressed up. A yes. lot of people, you know, podcast is mostly audio, but people will be watching this on YouTube and you dressed up for it. Yes. You, but you didn't even come in in the clothes that you were going to wear on the podcast. True. You changed on the podcast. Correct. And and <laughs> as you went in, to because the... I didn't want to drool all over this on my way here with like coffee or something. I didn't want to mess anything up. And I oh, I thought to... you'd see yourself in the mirror and you would just drool over no, yourself. And I wanted to look. And I wanted to look cute. <laughs> Meanwhile, I didn't know that this couch was so low. Now I'm like, what's wrong? Do you want a pillow to sit on? Do you want to sit on something? Or oh, you're afraid that they can unless, look up your skirt? Unless that... it's your Howie pillow that I have at home. We have the... Wait, 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 they... wait. So I, had a, I gave her a pillow that <laughs> was the uh, shape of my face. But you, you gave it probably you like five years ago. I still have you're it. You're offering to sit on my dad's face right now. And that's what my daughter pillow. just said to the world. <laughs> How many face times... Pillow. Yes, I don't, you don't want to sit on my face. Tell my daughter you don't no. want to sit on my face. I don't want to sit on your dad's face. Thank you. Thank you. That There's a little, uh, we could use that as a clickbait. Hey, what did the narcissistic cow say? Me, me, me. That's what he said. Did you just Google that joke? Yeah. 
No. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> it I sounds like, like something <laughs> that wasn't written. It sounds like it was Googled, right? <laughs> it was written. <laughs> but my point is that she went into the other room and she started <laughs> when you, I said, go in there. You can change. Yes. And as you made your way into that room, you were singing to yourself. Always. And always. But my friend uh, Jeff is here with his lovely wife, Dana. And Dana went, oh my gosh, she has a beautiful voice. Of an angel. That's what she, no, you weren't talking like that. You were just singing. And I go, you know, she is a singer. She is a singer. In fact, she has a single out. Right. We heard you sing though one time on AGT. Didn't they have you do like a yeah. whole performance? Yeah, she dropped like, from the moon and yeah. sang with the, the guy. We can, uh, it was like, a candy you have a clip, cane, do you have a yes. clip of that? We'll Ooh, put, you must put show a, it. Yes. We'll, we'll, we'll show that. You know if, what's funny? You had a singer as, a, that Mel B was there at that time, right? They didn't ask Mel singers, B to sing? Singers, real singers just don't want to sing. Go figure. You don't call yourself a real so singer? So people who are not real singers, that's, that's they right want to sing all the time. Yeah, Heidi oh, Klum yes. performance right there. I sang with Sal. Sal was my golden buzzer. Who Hit, I just Click on that. Click on the one Heidi Klum performance. So this was a special we no, did. Th yeah, that one. So this is her on Christmas special we did for America's Got Talent. Right. And they asked me if I would do a duet with my golden buzzer, Sal. And you don't have to ask me twice to sing. So I'm no. like, hell to the yes. Yeah. Singing Santa Baby, give it up for Sal Valentinetti and Heidi Klum. Santa buddy. That's not, if you're listening, that's not Heidi now. It might be. She makes her voice really I've low. I've been an awful she... good boy, Santa buddy. <laughs> and hurry down the chimney tonight. Here we go. Where's Heidi? Not yet. Uh, One more round. Really? Santa buddy. <laughs> I know. 65 convertible to It's hard as Jews to sit through Christmas songs. I'll wait uh, up for you, dude. I love Santa buddy. Okay. And hurry down the chimney tonight. There you are. Think of all the fun I've missed And think of all the boys I haven't kissed And next year I could be all so good If you check off my Christmas list okay. uh -huh. We got it. So that's you singing. <laughs> and she so, was singing live. So Dana, and she was singing live. <laughs> Dana loved that. Dana. But do you remember this when we actually did this? Because this was taped. And we did this, and I come down on my candy cane, and I'm supposed to do my bit. Yeah. And I completely black out, and I couldn't remember it. Do you remember this? I didn't remember that you <laughs> blacked out. But, but that was scary. Oh. It was so scary because I'm already like, you know, I hate heights. Yeah, I know. I've, I fly with her a lot of places, and yeah, she cries. I do. And, um, I cry a lot on airplanes. Actually, once we drank a lot, and I opened this um, champagne bottle, and, and it popped on your head. Not, not so funny. <laughs> if I could <laughs> sing, if I could sing, I I would probably I would probably have the best voice the world has ever seen. If Same. I could, yeah. Yes. So anyway, the, the, what, did he Google that joke? I don't think he Googled no, that joke. No, I don't joke. think any of his jokes are Googled. I think some listeners are Googling it just to find out if it is actually a joke. <laughs> is this a joke? Is this a joke? No, a but joke. now, right now, you have a single out. I do. You have a single out. Let's with play Snoop that Dog. with Snoop Dogg. Yes. And the, dancing. You have everyone dancing to it. There's a dance yes, that you do to this. I can teach you Which the has dance. become a, a, I did the dance on, on TikTok. No, you didn't you really. Tried. Did. You tried. Yeah. No, I did it. No. I did You it. tried, but you can try a little harder. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and that's actually, what she said. This Thursday, the music video is coming out. <laughs> this Thursday, it's last Thursday. I mean, it's it's been out. It's when been this out. Air, this is not this is not live. Where are we next week? I, we're just on a podcast. I don't know what day this is, <laughs> but it is out. The video it just came out. Do are you we have allowed it? to play it? Yeah. Yeah, we're allowed. Of course, to, it's play. out. It's an electronic um, dance um, song. I like it. I heard it. I like it. Can I talk to you out for a minute? Yes. Ready, oh, yeah. set, stand, will the light be? You know it's lit when it's Snoop Dogg and Heidi. The one mean, fierce, feisty girl. You're hot and you're sweet like chili tea. You say I'm always hot. <laughs> we keep that on the low. See, it's a fun day on the runway. You can let it go. Live wow. performances. That was a live video. performance. Yeah. That was amazing. 
So Amazing. you are a singer. Yeah. You have a great voice. And <laughs> apparently my friend Dana, who is here, Dana Paul, has a really good ear because she identified your singing voice as you went into change. So I'm just going to bring people up the stage. So you look amazing. And you you looked amazing coming in. And my friend Jeff, who is her husband, um, uh, constantly, he wanted to be here today. He hasn't come to any of my podcasts. He uses you as the litmus test, like, you know, and I think it's normal. Guys can, I'm a married guy and the father, and we, we can look <laughs> at women, right? Yes. And uh, I, You I've always heard, must look. You must look. You must, you must look. all the time. I always, I used to you talk should. about that in my oh. act, you know. <laughs> if you can look, you should. Do you still look at men, other men too? You can read the menu, just don't order. Okay. You can Got Google it. that joke. Yeah, I'll okay. <laughs> 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 but but uh, Jeff uses you as a litmus test because he'll go. That's uh, she's pretty, but it's no Heidi. Oh, 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 oh so look cute. at him! <laughs> look at him! Don't you do that, Jeff? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he's saying, but he's, he's, his yeah, arms yes, are up in the agreeing. air. He's saying it. So he wanted to be here today. So you came out. Well, and you thanks look, for coming. <laughs> and how do you did say I, that to your husband how, ever? How 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 did I do? Jeff, he's asking. She's come to the mic, Jeff. How come to I, the mic. How, how, I tried. How did I do? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi? Yes. Your face is a masterpiece. Oh, thank wow. you. I love, I'm into bone structure. <laughs> and your okay. face. Am I chiseled? You're chiseled. Perfect. Cheekbones. You're I'm so, so thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> okay, this is so uncomfortable. I'm and so your uncomfortable. wife your wife is in the room, Jeff. I think she's pretty special. She's, she's, Why are you uncomfortable? If she ever was going to cheat on me with a woman. Oh, is this your hall pass? It would be me. Is, yeah. this, your, yeah. is this your hall pass? Uh, you know how many hall yes. passes? Are you the hall pass? Yeah. Where'd he go? Now she just pulled him away from the mic. <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I the whole cast? <laughs> I don't know. Am I? And, and then you came out and you changed and you look stu you look stunning coming in. You were wearing like just a sweatsuit and now you're wearing some sort of, uh, I don't know, a table cloth. A skirt, a table well, cloth. A table cloth. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. A picnic, <laughs> picnic cloth. It's like a picnic. Yeah. I'm sure there's a... I know because it is a picnic. No, I, but not only that. And no, you came out and you go, I have a hedgehog on. I still had a leftover stolen from Christmas. So I thought I brought it. A what? It. It's almost... It's still somewhat still okay to eat. What is it? What did you bring? It's a Stalin. A Stalin? Because this is a picnic. So I brought. Oh, it is a picnic. You are dressed like a picnic blanket? Yes. And, and we're then, having Stalin? And then I got some Deutsch beer, <laughs> Paulana. What? Uh -huh. Oh, we're nice doing it. We're having a whole German experience here. <laughs> Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Yeah. Do you want? Do you want a German beer? It's Paulana. I love to have Paulana. You don't have to talk you in don't an accent. Have to, yeah. that's, that's rude. That's my German. That was really rude. That's yeah, but she I has don't a... mind. I don't mind. Okay, but yeah, Heidi, you. Heidi, thank you. Wait. You came out. She's she's very because, careful. Uh, because yeah. I'm a picnic blanket. That's why. Oh, wait. Okay. But how do you open these? <laughs> You're so prepared today. Who I... brings Who brings a picnic to a who podcast? German beer. But. Germans. Yeah, I didn't bring uh, openers. Openers. Mm. I don't drink. I'm not drinking right now. Does anyone have an opener? Um, yeah, and I'm sure my son. Solid. My son. <laughs> he does on his keychain. Yeah. Alex is like, Dad. I got one. My son is always ready for a picnic. <laughs> Alex, come what, in here what and is open it? all them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What, uh, so at, uh, you came, you dressed like this picnic, and you walked out, Heidi. The first thing you said is, I have a hedgehog. I have I have a hedgehog underwear on. Why? She didn't just I say it. I don't know, because she didn't just say it. I saw it. How yes. did you see her underpants? Because she showed I me. flashed her. She showed me. And we need a knife, please. <laughs> what? She's... <laughs> we need a knife, please. This is a stein. Okay, so this is kind of like a Christmas bread. It's sweet. It has like... A stein? Stollen, it's called. A stollen. stollen. So this is sweet. It's kind of a sweet bread, and it has like raisins in it. It right. has marzipan in can the I, inside. Can I say something? You, t you started by saying it's a Christmas bread. Yes. You realize this is March. That's why I'm saying. I think it's still... Nobody wants to touch date? it. Is there an expiration date? Where has your stolen been it in the says, last two says, months? Where do you stick your stolen to keep it fresh for a couple a of months? It says 2-9-22. 2-9-22. Oh. We're so good. Last That's month. February last, 9th. Last month. February 9th. But, no, but in Germany, it's the no, other you're way around cut, on your you, knee. Your stolen, you cut the tip off your stolen. Oh. <laughs> Lou just cut the tip off his <laughs> Of my stolen. <laughs> yeah. I like. I know strudel. What is stolen? I've never seen anyone cut. What are you through doing? A plastic. <laughs> I'm serving up I don't want that. It's two nine twenty two. That's that, that was no, months ago. Yeah, but I'll it's Germany, it. and we do it the other way around. So what do you mean? It's still good till like till next. Yeah, no, next my oh my my uni, uni, no, twenty. No, till September. Nine of September. Till the second of September. 
Yes, just don't read too much into it. It's still sub- don't read too much into it. Don't eat too much into no, it. No, because we're doing it the other way around. How? What do you say? Oh, it's delicious. See, he tried it. He <laughs> loves his stolen. You love to taste Heidi stolen. I'll, I'll oh. taste on my head. Who doesn't want to taste Heidi stolen? <laughs> Me. I think that I think that button flies are the chopsticks of, of, of zippers. He's not even near a mic again. He's not near a mic. It doesn't matter. He's googling things. He's making you. She's really? Making you I have to eat it. this. You don't have to. I don't, I don't have to you eat it. No, I will, it but thank good. you. It was a good it's idea. Good. So when I called you, Heidi, and I said, let's do a podcast, you went and got your hedgehog underpants and stolen. <laughs> you got a stolen. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> who man, prepares? It's so good. Is it good? We you made like a little it? It's not, really good. <laughs> you're not making a, it's a really good face. No, it is really good. It is really good. I like it. People have been requesting, We our listeners have been saying, more eating, more eating. Can <laughs> we have podcast. more eating? Oh, really? Yeah, they've been saying this. So this <laughs> is for the listeners. Oh, man. You ask, you shall receive. Mm. Mm. This is right from Germany because it tastes like it might be from Sweden. Mm-hmm. No, this is a German one, but maybe they have a Swedish one too. What are you talking about, Lou? If I got arrested <laughs> in Sweden, mm-hmm. it would be fine because they couldn't coerce me because I don't speak the language. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> Cheers. 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 I'm not drinking. I'm drinking. Uh, I'm I'm like a, I see. By the way, this is not an ad or anything. Just so you know, it's just German beer. And because I'm German, I thought I'd bring you like some German stuff. I don't know if anyone would think that this was an ad. I think that you you showing up, <laughs> the fact that you showed up and you brought us plenty of German stuff. Yeah. Mm. Um. Oh anyway. <laughs> we have expired bread. I love it. And no, you, but I yeah, people are going to think it's a, an ad. No, no, no. But it's not because in Germany we do the month. In the day, the other way around. We do no. that in Canada too. So there's you're saying no, this is good till September. Till the second of September. Yeah, it'll. Okay. It, what are you doing? He's Lou? getting more. He's getting more. And if it was February of How this year, how much is year, too much stolen? And if it was February of this year, yeah, we're still kind of good. It's just only just March. I just stole some stolen. You oh. don't. That's the other thing I noticed about Heidi. You don't diet. You don't really. You ha, you're in incredible shape, yet you don't seem to. Um, it's it's genetics, right? I think it is. I think it is too. I you think have... a lot of it is, and right. a lot of it is what you eat. Oh my god! I'm fe- oh my <laughs> you god! You must eat a lot of stone and drink a lot of beer. I am feeling psychic. This rarely, rarely happens to me, but I'm feeling psychic. I'm feeling psychic. The people that are watching and listening, give me. Oh, the letter B O B. I see the letter B O. Somebody, somebody in the in the audience with the letter B B O. B-O, boo-boo-boo. Is there a boo? I think there's a boo-boo-boo out there. Somewhere <laughs> in the audience, listening or watching, there's somebody by the name of boo-boo-boo. My favorite It was is, psychic. It's just looking at Alex, my brother's face, whenever Lou starts to I say something. I don't get psychic all the time, but that was, I had to do Well, it. you didn't notice, uh, Heidi was looking at me and yeah. mouthing the words, what is happening? Oh. <laughs> I felt psychic. <laughs> You're not the only one that's saying that. Everybody is thinking what's Why happening. What's happening? Um, we, we got, I have so much to talk to you about, young mm-hmm. lady. Mm-hmm. First of all, I want to congratulate you on your daughter, Lainey. Lainey, if you haven't followed uh, Heidi on Instagram, and I don't know who doesn't, her daughter is following in her mother's uh, footsteps and has uh, graced the covers already of many magazines, right? You did Vogue Germany, right? Mm-hmm. Vogue. She's done Glamour. She's done Elle. She's done Hapa's Bazaar. She's, and she's done so many. She does, and, and she was also walked at, in Italy in, at, for uh, Dolce, Gabbana. Dolce Gabbana. I walked in Northridge. Wasn't that Look. her first one? That was her first that one. That was her first show ever. And she literally looked like a queen. She also, they gave her a crown. Yeah. Plus it was in Venice. It was so majestic. It was over the top. I mean, but I, I was just there to watch. She was a baby, but you were just there to watch. And she is like the doting mother. That's another thing about her. You are this Look amazing- at my little beanie head. Look at this little well, rascal. I, I think a lot of people would look at that pictures and not think that's a little beanie head, you know, but that's the... <laughs> but, you know, she is my little beanie head. And you were nervous and you said, like, she she had no nerves. No. She just took to the runway like she owned it, right? Yeah. She was just on my German show also. Uh, next Top Model? She doesn't... Germans yeah. She doesn't care at all. Like, there's 5,000 cameras... On top of her, not on top of her, but directed right. to her, and she couldn't care less. I wish wow. I could be like that. She I, just talks. She's just like... It's probably because you raised her, because you are just 
you don't have any nerves or anything, right? When you go on TV. Oh, she does have nerves. but I have a- many nerves. Oh. But I do think it's because the cameras have always been, you know, directed at her since she's been little. Mm-hmm. But so they nerves. have directed have to you. I have nerves and I'm on my last one. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. So anyway. But I don't feel, I don't think it's because of the cameras because I don't feel that way. I mean, I grew up with you and there were cameras all around yeah. you but i am so nervous all the time so it's always amazing to me to see other people that's able to go up on but stage. beyond being not nervous she also is incredibly poised like yeah. we see people on our stages at agt all the time who aren't nervous and you think, unlike god, me god you, no no but <laughs> you should be nervous because this yeah. is not good yeah <laughs> right but or you should not be talking the way you're talking right now right but you you actually uh, jackie are really good with your nerves you know you say that you're uncomfortable and you're good on the red carpet and you're good and you you're able to control your nerves at least externally mm-hmm. but and and laney is just amazing and i also saw laney she has and i want to know how you are with this because i was not good with uh this she celebrated her third year anniversary with her boyfriend yeah she, wait how old is she she's turning 18. so, so they've been together uh, since they were 15. Well, excuse me it's the beer it's the beer i do apologize it was not me it's the german beer how old's her boyfriend it's always the parents fault to be honest with you what is you know, this kind of thing. Lou, Lou, Lou. Lou. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your fault. No, I blame everything. No, but are you okay with the boyfriend? I mean, that seems like I she's think, like committed I think at a for very your young. Children, no one is ever good enough. He's gonna hear right? this. Is ever anyone good enough for your daughter? Well, I'm, well, I'm, married, I'm happy so. with her. I'm happy with her husband. But I, up until her husband, I was not happy with anyone. That's what I'm saying. And I she think we're just almost not married happy with the anyone. one before. Well, hold on. but it's her life. It's her life. She has to do whatever she wants. I to know, do. but what is he doing? I was her age before. I did what I wanted to what? do. How old you were is her he? Her age before. Same. You know. So I feel like. You were like an unbelievably uh, strong woman. I don't know if people know the story, but uh, you, uh, her father, you, her father was not involved in her life. You raised her, but that's well, that's a commitment by myself. You know, there yes, was always a uh, seal. You know, seal was there from the very beginning. I know, but, but like her but biological you made it, dad was not there. No, right, but and because by choice, by choice, that's what I'm saying. By your choice, by both of our choice. Yeah, you said I want to have this baby. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, you know if I want, I'm taking the responsibility. Yeah. I thought that was pretty amazing and unusual, right? I don't know. For me, everything was unusual, you know, at the time because no one around me. Why did was you bring pregnant. him beer? Why did you bring him beer? He's keep burping. The next time I come, I will bring you no beer. Well, bring <laughs> Tums or something That'll with show it. Me. <laughs> That'll fix me. If he's not coughing up loogies, he's burping and shitting himself. You know, because one thing I, I like diaper. to do, one thing I like to do. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. what I, what I was saying is, you raise to, you have you're very independent, and now uh, people know this. You have four children, um, beautiful children, Thank who you. you've uh, I think reared. my boys are six three. I know they're fifteen and sixteen. Now, how do their friends feel about coming over for they a feel play date? Short. They feel short. No, no, no. no. I, <laughs> I wasn't talking about their height. <laughs> I was talking about their mother. Like if you, as a 15 year old boy, if uh, my 15 year old friend's mother looked like you, I remember a conversation we once had, cause you're okay with nudity. I promise when friends come over, I put my top on. No, but they, you, they, they had- <laughs> I promise, your wasn't, hedgehog, Is I your pro- hedgehog underwear out though? <laughs> that might be out, yeah. <laughs> but I will wear a hedgehog top to match. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. That was normally, a discussion. Yeah, but of course it was a discussion. With my the kids. kids. Of course, they say, mom, when someone comes over and I'm like, of course. I will be wearing something when someone comes over. <laughs> but they had to tell you that. No, but we talked about it. Like as if I was not going to wear anything. Don't I didn't say I to my mom, my friend Jeff's coming over, put a top on. I never said that. I know. And most parents are different than I am. I right. was brought up very freely. And, mm-hmm. you know, I don't think there is anything wrong with that. I don't run around nude outside. I'm totally minding my own business in my own backyard with my own offspring. You know, if someone else comes, I put my clothes on. That's nice. That's a nice. What did you say? 
I speak five languages. All I can say is, <laughs> do you Comme speak that language? Well, bien sûr. I just can't imagine. Alex, can you imagine like hanging out at home and having mom or dad just naked in the backyard? No, but she's not. Really? Oh, but she said yeah, when but, her kids are home. Oh, when your kids guess. are home. No problem. Those are my kids. <laughs> <laughs> they came out of me. They should be able to handle it. <laughs> that, have you said that to them? I don't have to. When they, they, said, have to when they say, uh, mommy, where did I come from? You show them the hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen videos. You know, I went to the uh, pawn shop. Oh, the of day. the birth. Of their own birth, yeah. Really? You yeah. show them videos of their own birth? Yeah. I went to a pawn shop the other day. Thanks for asking, Amy. I also grew up in a very nude household. Like, my, <laughs> like to this day, like, my family still walks around naked. Like, we're just free like free. that. Hippies. So, hippies at heart. I'm like, a hippie yeah. at heart. It's, I mean, there's nothing weird about that, but I, I had you know to what? tell my mom to put clothes on too when all I had right, friends All right, all right, Caroline, but put see, your pants even... on and turn the mic off. <laughs> okay. But see, they don't even have... put your pants on. But see, they don't even have to ask me. I know to put my clothes on if someone else comes. You're amazing that way. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm amazing that way. You, you don't are. even have to tell put me. I just do it all on. by myself. <laughs> the, this, speaking of nudity, you brought me. But what's wrong with it, though? Nothing. Nothing in your case. Difference. I'm going to be in Las Vegas. I'm going to be in Las Vegas March <laughs> okay. 28th through <laughs> April 3rd. Uh, I'm going to be there, the which includes the first, and you're welcome to come, Heidi. April 1st is the one of the days that I'm there, and on that day, I'm giving away $72 million dollars okay i think it's i think it's just a difference in opinion and how comfortable you are depending on the person like i know even with breastfeeding my kids i was uncomfortable doing it in public or without like a shield whereas some people are which is fine well your daughter's seven what? No. <laughs> no, but I mean, even with that, where you're supposed to feel fine breastfeeding <laughs> your kid, I was not comfortable with that. So I think it's just a difference in opinion and a difference in people, right? I would just always gauge. You can gauge people if some people are uncomfortable. I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. Me, you like making you, people uncomfortable. You you yeah, enjoy that. But like, you know, I mean, I oh, would Oh, but not the like, kids. And uh, I would have like a little, you know, like a little blankie that I would put over the baby when I was breastfeeding. And I was breastfeeding all four of them for eight months each. So it's like, it's impossible. How can you like not do it? No. Yeah, I, t I tell you, you do make good decisions. Here, you are, I got off. <laughs> I, get, I did an interview last night, and uh, in the interview, they said, you know, you know a lot of celebrities, and you've been around for a long time. Who Who is the most surprising celebrity and nicest celebrity you ever met? And and uh, without a hesitation, I came up with you. And, and the reason for that is, and it's part of this discussion, is that we have this connotation of what a supermodel is, you know? And somebody who has been in the public eye, you were a kid when you started. It was on a, you know, her friend put her into a contest. I was 18. 18. I did, I entered a modeling contest. But you didn't even, your friend entered you, right? No, we kind of did it together. We, she took photos of me, right? you know, like in my swimsuit. And then, you know, she just sent them. And but, but I mean, we both wanted to be in this, com in this contest. Oh, she was in the contest too? Yeah. And did she get it? No. Just you? Yeah. Oh. Are you friends today? Of course. Oh wow! Yeah, what she nice became friend. a photographer. Wow! Yeah. So, but that kind of speaks to her name is Karin. Yeah, she's still my best friend from back in Germany. Well, see that. So that kind of that's you know most people are competitive, and especially uh, girls can be more competitive than guys, even in regular life. Here, as you both entered a contest based on your looks, not only did you win, but you are still winning today. And I thought, okay, so somebody who's entire career and power and notoriety is based on their looks is going to be somebody incredibly hard to deal with because, but I was bowled over by number one, the, the first time I think we ever met and worked together was on the Emmys, which yes. wasn't a fun night for us. Well, maybe it was for you. It wasn't fun for me. It wasn't fun for me because it felt like no one was ever listening to me. Right. I was the Nobody only was girl to and it was just guys. No mm. one was ever listening to me. And I was like, guys, those jokes are just not funny and <laughs> they weren't <laughs> they just weren't but every but i don't know because that's terrible when people are not funny no and the thing <laughs> is i guess because i say it in a nice kind of sweet way so you just brush you know over. i tried to quit oh. i tried to quit the show i don't They're think like it was because you were the, a woman from what you said it was you know we were all dealing with the exact same yeah. thing so th there was the first year that uh, reality tv was involved in in the emmys 
and they had the idea that if if the, all the hosts and all the nominees for uh, that the, all the hosts should host the Emmys, right? And it was like seven of us, seven of us with yeah. all different uh, sensibilities yeah. and stuff. And me as a comedian, when they when I saw that stuff that they were writing, you are absolutely right. None of it was I'm like, funny. It's not funny. And I was embarrassed. I was the only one. I I felt like for me, I'm a comedian. This is my bread and this butter. This is your turf. I don't want to say this stuff. Yeah. I don't want to do this stuff it's because not- people think that. It's from your brain. Right. But we're just reading the prompter from other people's brain. It was what horrible. They put together. You know, I just made a million dollars yesterday. <laughs> I mean, an omelet. What did I'm you sorry, do with an it? omelet. I anyway, I so anyway, I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Howie World. <laughs> I... I uh, <laughs> what were you saying? I don't know. No, 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 Turn off Lou's mic for a minute. Turn off Lou's mic there. There we go. Blow your nose. All right. I have to to sneeze a lot lately. Are you? uh, And do you feel like your skin is getting itchier? Wait, you have to sneeze and you're getting itchy? Yeah. I feel like something is changing in the water here in Los Angeles. No, I think maybe you have something. (laughs) No, I'm talking about. Uh, Now I'm uncomfortable. I'm talking about your skin. Is your skin not itchier? I'm not itchy. You feel more dry? You have that? Are you dry? no. 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 But that's why I'm saying if you need to sneeze. No, 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 no. That'll resolve it. Okay. Don't listen. I must blow my nose more. Are you stuffy too? Wait, we are all over the place. What were you saying about the Emmys? Wait, wait one second. Let's see. I'm going to stay on this conversation for a minute. So the Emmys were a really rough (laughs) opportunity. (laughs) What? I'm a little thrown. <laughs> the Emmys were a really rough night for all of us. Yeah. And on the public stage and on the national stage like that. And you were like such a trooper. And we it, we were going, I can't remember exactly what I was going to say, but I was going to say that people don't know how professional you are, how you, um, you, I've never seen you, if not, not late, you're the earliest. You're always the first person at everything. You, you and here. I were always the first. But one. I'm not and a supermodel. Always the last to leave. <laughs> but I'm not a supermodel. You know, and people. I'm I just don't no think ra- it has anything to do with no, the but, profession. Uh, but, I think it just has to do with how you were brought up. No, but even the I was brought up. You come on time, and you do what you ask. You do. No, but 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 you would think like even no? getting ready. Nobody's ready faster faster than her. Even the way she. But you how came long in, does it take? I think he's trying to say that the connotation of what a supermodel is, he wouldn't assume that, you know, you would be on time because you would be more focused on your own appearance or whatever it is you have to do. And maybe that was his connotation of what a yeah. supermodel might be I think be that's like. everybody's and you- connotation. And and w- I'll, I'll say it again. You walked into the room and you, I don't know what you did. You said a couple of things. And my friend uh, Jeff and Dana both said, oh my God, she's amazing. And they were not only talking about your looks, but they were talking about how you're just this fun uh somewhat seem you seem like you're carefree i know you're not because you're also a, an incredibly shrewd business person real estate person why are you laughing i'm just listening to you and <laughs> laughing i know you are and i'm asking you why you're laughing <laughs> He's so funny. no but you build an empire and you built brands and you do real estate and you basically do this by yourself you know you've been married a couple times there's no man behind any of these you've been married three times yeah yeah and this one, this one should stick. But then again, please, I, I hope. I but you know, I, I got news for you. He's to the husband gods. One day he's going to turn forty. Is that going to be okay with you? Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I said to turned... my husband, we must marry before you turn thirty because you know. I know you did, and we you, did. Your husband is younger than my son. <laughs> How old are you now? Thirty-two. Oh yeah. He is? <laughs> yes. He is? Yes. <laughs> you don't know either. No. No, I mean, I didn't know oh. your husband was that young. No, my husband is also 32. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, me. but she married yeah. him at 29, right? Yeah. And I at do- that time, Alex was also 29. <laughs> <laughs> because now we celebrate three years. Three. And he's a very famous guy. He is, uh, if you know the group Tokyo Hotel, you can Google that. Tokyo if you're not Hotel. Googling uh, Google Lou's joke. I know the Omni. Why don't you, know, you sing with him? Why don't you do any music with him? He doesn't want me. <laughs> <laughs> In the music business. His, his twin brother already got that job at Tokyo Hotel. Yeah, yeah. he's an identical twin. His twin brother is the lead singer yeah. of the group. I don't want to brag. And they're Otherwise huge. Don't brag right uh, now. No, I, I, do my own, I, I do my own pedicures. Okay. I and, don't. Yeah. I can't no, reach no, my toes. You can't reach your own toes? Too far away. 
Your toes are too. That's how long your legs are. He's, she's bragging about her height again. <laughs> <laughs> you I mean, can't. You can't reach your own toes. I mean, sitting down, yes. I can't touch. Who them does a pedicure <laughs> standing up? Who paints their toenails standing up? They should. It's a good exercise. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, my point is that you have always been an incredibly surprising young lady. You brought us gifts today. You brought oh, us, uh, oh, uh, first of all, I want to talk about, like, and, and also on the cutting edge, she moved her whole show, she created a new show on Amazon, and the beauty of this show, it's like the show you were doing, maybe you don't want me to say that. I, I, I have no problems about anything. It was called Project Runway, 17 Project years. Project Runway. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, but you did, and then. 17 you, years, my first baby, I birthed Project Runway. Yes. And now this is um, making the cut, and it's on Amazon Prime. But the beauty of this is the business behind it is you can watch that show, which is about, uh, and you know, you can shop and you could shop in real time. It's about um, designing clothes. It's right. about finding the next great global fashion brand. You've launched a couple of fashion brands, even on Project Runway, uh, Siri, what's his name? Christian Siriano. Who came from that show, yes, right? He now is hosting um, Project Runway. Right. So it all worked out perfectly. But I always see like when I'm with you at AGT, like they send you, like everybody sends you. I've never seen you wear the same thing twice. Right? My own things, my own personal things. The hedgehog, things. I know. You'll the wear that. The hedgehog I wear again. Yes. <laughs> I love my hedgehog. <laughs> I would imagine it's the underpants with the groundhog on it. You wear it over and over. I have and one with a little kitty cat on it too. Sounds okay, like you only have one pair of underwear, Heidi. No, no, no. This is a special one. I, just, I have lots. She's a Victoria's Secret I'm model. She has yes. to have she's lots of underwear. Well, she's not Victoria's Secrets anymore. Was that, a, was that a good gig? The most amazing oh, gig yeah. to have. Yeah. Was that tough to wear? No. You wore those, um, uh, like... Uh, tough. Seemed... How can it be tough? You run around in your underwear. Mm -hmm. It's Hedgehog perfect. It was, per underwear. it was perfect for me. No, but Victoria's you got... Secret got revamped lately, yeah. right? Yeah. This year, and they're hiring a whole bunch of new models yeah. and everything, which is amazing. So it looks How do you feel like... about that? They're I not... mean, to be honest, I've lost track because it's been probably 13, 14... No. I don't know. No, I'm thinking. I never had track. No, 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 I'm thinking because Lou is now 12, so no, it's been 12 Lou years. Lou is 65. So I... I, I so I stopped. Loop. So I stopped twelve years ago. After um, oh my gosh. that's the last time when I walked was when my youngest daughter was born. Wait a minute, you were pregnant on these pictures? Well, they are pregnant. Yes, they are. Where? Where? With the big wings to the right. Yeah. That you're pregnant there? Yeah, eight I'm months. It I'm looks like eight months <laughs> worth of pregnancy. Right I'm there. pregnant there with Lainey, four and a half months. You're four and a half. Mo uh huh. I can even see her there. Do you see the bump? Uh, I don't look like I don't that think when we're I'm not pregnant. The same bump. <laughs> Do you see my breasts? They're extra. <laughs> the extra mm. because yeah. So I could say. Wow. Or down here, see where I have the the bra on, the red one. There. See where I have a bra on. I'm looking at a whole picture. <laughs> no, 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 picture. the red one. I yeah. know, but if you, yeah, if you, yeah, there. See on my stomach. Can you see it a little bit? Nope. I was worried. <laughs> Look at. You were worried. I was. Well, there. Where I have the crown on, the little skirt. Look yep. at my stomach. Huge. Huge. It's crazy. No, but you know. You got to watch this on YouTube, people, no, because you have, it's amazing. You know, you see how it's like a little bumpy there? Like I have here? to be honest with you. I don't look like that when I'm not having kids. Baloney. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, my friend who who judges uh, <laughs> passing women, Jeff, do you see the, uh, where's Jeff? Do you see Lainey in there? Jeff, come to the mic. No, but I was really worried because I really wanted to walk in the show. And I was like, if I would. No, because I find Jeff very critical as just the everyday man. If you saw her, look at her with the crowd. Do you see the picture? No, you, you know my eyes are bad. Right oh, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You look at it right there. I'm the every yeah, Tuesday I, man I just it. to the right. You do see it. Well, I see a yes. Right? Are you pregnant in there? I am. See? How many are you not listening to this? Four and a half. I was, I was <laughs> listening, but I didn't see the picture. Yes. Look at the bump. Oh, my God. From the Put side. Put up the one with I the wings. I know that oh shot. Oh, my God. You're, you're huge. Could have given any month there. <laughs> She's huge. Really? <laughs> no. no. Wait, did they know that you were pregnant when you first no, got hired? No, I didn't want to tell anyone because, no, I mean, was hired. I mean, I was one of the angels, so it's not like they hire you specifically for a specific job. I was working look, with them all the time. Look at the one the with time. the wings. So, plus, they were really heavy, here. and I was like, gosh, I hope this is going to be okay. My wife is here. Yeah. Yeah. Enough. <laughs> you can't. You stop calling him to the mic, Enough. Dad. Dana, Dana, come <laughs> you, to the mic. You remember the rule? What's the rule? You can look, just don't order. <laughs> You're not ordering. No, you exactly. can go out and get an appetite. You just have to come home and eat. You can go out and oh, get an appetite. That's good. That is good. You can Google Did you that. Google that? 
Dana, I'll ask you not to make him in trouble. Look at her with the wing. Uh -huh. Look at her body. Can you tell she's pregnant? Look at that body. She looks oh, amazing. Out. Nobody would ever think she was pregnant. Like yeah. the see, French say, the sometimes life is just Ooh. it's adorable. Coup de la pas. Coup de la pas. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Me either. <laughs> but so you worked pregnant. How long after that? Well, how long did? You, how much more did you work after that? Like when did they start to notice? Um, when you brought her to the work? I actually <laughs> no. I actually still did commercials, but like just bra because my arms. Mm -hmm. They always kind of stayed the same. I don't know why. I gained 45 pounds every pregnancy. 45 pounds? Yeah. That's a lot. My Isn't kids lot? were like eight pounds something. Huge. All of them. I gained 45 pounds with every pie. Where, so you've been married three times. Uh, you're, uh, I don't know, the, uh, who is your first husband? Rick Pepino, hairdresser. Is he a well-known hairdresser? Yeah. He, we were together. We were married maybe six years. No children with him? No. And and uh, you were married six years, and what what happened? Didn't work out. Who I left divorced. who? Divorce. <laughs> Divorce is what. Did you leave? <laughs> yes. What did you do? Why? I fell out of love. Did you tell him that? I did tell him. It was very hard because he didn't do anything wrong. It was just I woke up one morning and I looked at him and I told him I said I fell out of love. It was horrible, but I thought I should be honest, so I told him. That's you just it. Woke up. Woke up one morning and you go, I'm out of love with you. Yeah. What had you done the night before with him? <laughs> I don't know. Fell asleep, probably. <laughs> she didn't sit what, on his face. Did, uh, <laughs> and then I left. That's my daughter, ladies and gentlemen. She'll be here all week. <laughs> what a rim did shot you or say? She goes. She didn't sit on his face. <laughs> no. Okay, but uh, and then how long did you leave that day? I don't remember. It feels like another lifetime ago. Uh, Two lifetimes ago. Were you married to Lainey's uh, biological no. father? No. 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 He's a famous guy, right? Yeah. Can I say who he is? Yeah. You should say who he is. Flavio Briatore. Who is famous for... Did you want her to say it because Flavio you can't pronounce it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he's... Well, he used to be um, the chef of Renault for the Formula One. Right. And uh, now he does many different things. He has different restaurants. He um, was the chef for Formula One. No. He, he was the, not the he, chef. The chief. Yeah. I thought you said, I, I thought he was the chief, and then he's I thought. He's basically the guy who is in the pit who talks to the but drivers. He, he was, but wasn't he what, an owner? Mm, or I'm, a designer? No, not uh, owner, but he was like he was like the head of Formula One for Renault. And I for, thought he was in the fashion industry. He no. wasn't. No? No. Oh, no. I, I think wrong. he might have done something with Benetton at one point because he's friends. How did you with meet him? Are you a race I met fan? him uh, with Roberto Cavalli in Italy. Ah, oh, parlare italiano? Si. Okay. So he, he, you met him in Italy? And yeah. then right, how long were you with him? Mm. I don't know. You maybe, do know. You maybe a year? Us. No, I'm trying to remember. It's so long ago. It is. Plus, I had four kids. It's like... Well, at that time, you had none. No, but think about it. Lainey is now 18 years old. 18 years ago. And then when you have kids, you have like pregnancy brain. You lose a lot of things along the way. I got so then you, brain then you, brain and, and then you, uh, the next one was Seal. Yeah. But you also went out, uh, but, you, but you've, you've dated. Who is the most, uh, name some of the famous people and give us a great story about somebody famous. <laughs> 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 it's very interesting because he married Seal and, and Seal, uh, um, uh, uh, is the father of three of four of your children. And Biological. Some of them are seals, right? Not one of them is a seal. Biological, <laughs> but <laughs> Lainey. <laughs> no, but it was, uh, you want to hear? No, I don't know if I can say this. You said biological, but Lainey considers Seal her. as her dad, for yeah. sure. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I mean, Seal is not Lainey's biological dad, mm -hmm. but, but he he's raised her dad. Her. Yeah. yeah. He raised her. You know, In fact, you... Seal, was on, Seal was on AGT as a guest judge. How fun was that? I don't know. But there was a lot of tension. You were there. I know, but there was a lot of tension. Do you know there was a lot of tension in the room? Do you know that, right? Not between you and I Seal. I was going to say, was it me? No, no. With who? Uh, Tyra, and oh, Tyra yeah, and yeah, her yeah. because I her, forgot about that. Her yes. ex-husband is there judging, and apparently, I didn't know this until that day because you could feel you could cut through it like a strudel or whatever <laughs> we cut through <laughs> the, the, the thing. <laughs> that Tyra went out with Seal also. Yeah. After your breakup? No, it was before. Before so, oh. I was even with him. So then who cares? So why was she so, what What was the tension? I have no idea. But it was tension, right? I felt like it. 
No, it was. There was a lot of tension, and it was like being in high school again. I went out with him, and you went out with him, I but I had three. No, it's okay. What happened? I dropped my phone. I'm getting texts. I just want to make sure it's not from like my kid's school or something. Okay. Hey, you know, if you danced like nobody's watching, yes, it's your word against mine. Do you get do you, <laughs> Howie? <laughs> Wait, you're in the same industry as Tyra. Were you guys friends before that, or yes, yeah, They're before both AGT? Angels. You mean? Yeah. Oh, we would we would do um, uh, Victoria's Secret all the time. Right. Sports Illustrated, Victoria's Secret. I mean, we went on a hundred trips did, together. Did that tension begin? She went out with Seal while she was a Victoria's Secret model. I think. I mean, to be honest, I think she had, didn't have a problem with me. I think maybe it was awkward. And then, then you started going and, and you them? married him. Maybe it was awkward for Seal to be are there. You the she was there. Are you the girlfriend? I don't have a problem with her. No, she I doesn't don't. have a problem with me or she didn't have a problem with me being with him. Or maybe they had a problem and that they saw each other. And maybe that's why it was weird. And he didn't tell you? I have no idea what we're talking about. Who had a problem? Seal. Were, you not ta- were you not talking about that the air was thick? Oh, no, I was talking about even going back. So she, when she dated Seal, Mm -hmm. you were both Victoria's Secret models. I don't know when she dated him. You said before you. I don't, yeah, it was before me, but I don't know exactly when. I did Victoria's Secret for 13 years. Maybe it was during. Think about it. I did Victoria's Secret for 13 years. I was married. Do you think I'm, I don't care who's dating who. I wasn't like in everyone's business. Did did he break up with her to go out with you? I don't know. No. That's what I'm asking. He wasn't with anyone when I met him. No. That's what Tristan Thompson said. Who's that? Kardashian. You know, if I was the king of the world, the first thing I do is tell Tristan Tristan Thompson, Uh, Chloe. Chloe's ex. Remember Chloe's ex? She goes out with Tristan Thompson. He's a basketball player. Yeah. Right. And when she met. Good guess. Whatever. Anyway. (laughs) Whatever. Anyway. I don't follow too much of that. So I don't know. You don't have to follow. It'll be in your face yeah. without you watching. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, so then you you married Seal. You were with Ma- Seal for so many years. How many years? Um, eight. Eight years. Raised four kids. You also brought us today. This is an amazing book. I actually have it at home. I, I think it's an art piece. This Rankin. It took forever. It took 10 years. Are you on good terms with him now? Rankin? Yeah. I love. Yeah. But didn't you have a, a, a little. Uh, no. No. Love him. Okay. He's like my brother. I know, From but remember, mother. you took this and you didn't want to sell it. You, he, uh, oh, you yeah, had this know. book. You have you, you, th- this book is all new. See, for me, when you do something like that, it's like an art piece. So rank, I don't, rank so and, just in general. I've never. I, this is my third book. I've never made money with you know doing a book. It's but, kind of like a project that you do. Where can people get this if um, they want this? I don't even know. Do you want to see if it's on Amazon? Well, let me see. What, what's your name again? H e i d i. K L U M. So Heidi Klum, what what would they look up? Uh, it's it's Heidi Klum by Rankin, yeah. and it is this beautiful. Um, Maybe they have it on Amazon. Everything is on Amazon. It's uh, it's his book. It's all you nude, but it, it's yes. it, like and and some of them are what do you call them holograms, and it's just the most amazing. And you say it's like a brother. It's a book, Alex. Where, Alex, where can you buy it? Would you take nude pictures oh, of look, Jackie? You can buy it. Amazon. Oh, there Amazon. it is. There it is. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a book about so Heidi Klum. Skim right over that one. Yes. Oh yeah. If you so if you open this one up, in the beginning, it's it's actually not called a hologram. It's a different word. It's all about Heidi Klum. Van Dickwell? What is it? It's a Van Dickwell. No, what do you call that when it's those lines? So you can see. What a Van Dickwell. No, what do you call this again when it's those lines? No, a Van Dickwell. When you walk a different way and it looks like a different How do you call that? Is this Van Dickwell? Van Dickwell. What is it called? So that we should also say that who's ever uh, listening an to the podcast, an optical illusion, an optical illusion. No, when you're if no. you're listening to this podcast no, and you want to see Heidi's vendicle, <laughs> oh, you my have to watch talk. on YouTube. No, no, no. Open this up for one second and feel the cover. Feel it. Feel the cover. Get the it's green off. Vendicle. Take the green off. No, this. what do you call? Touch this. No, I know it's what got the it lines. Called? What's it called? When vendicle. You look? Ventricular. No. What is it called? Ventricular. Ventricle. See, I was close. Ventricle. You're right. Is it called? It Between called? you and I, Heidi, we know all the words. <laughs> what is it called? Ventricle. Ventricle. Alex, I'm asking Ventricular. you, what is That's it called it. when Ventricular. you when you when you pass and it, it's a di- it looks different from like a different thing so with a with with it moves. 
Ventricular, <laughs> ventricular. He's not even close. At least I'm close. It's a ventricle. <laughs> it's a dickle. A ventricle. It's a, it's a Van Gogh's dickle. <laughs> anyway, this book is all about Heidi Klum, in case you're interested. Yeah. Okay, anyway. It's ten a- years. Over the last ten years, every time when we've done a photo shoot, yeah. we do a nude at the end. So for ten years, we've been doing this and collecting all these different nudes. Wow. Yeah. That we do that with this podcast. <laughs> We've been doing this podcast for you a year. You do this podcast with your daughter. Do you want to rethink no, that that's statement? No, I'm telling you. <laughs> let me let me finish. Okay. We do an episode. Yeah. And then Alex takes nude pictures of his sister after. At the Alex, end of every. Uh, dad. My the, the son. Dad. Didn't work. What? <laughs> he goes. That rethink didn't work. <laughs> dad. Uh... It's not true. I love that beer. It's that not true. Beer is he has to like clarify. I do like the true. beer. The beer is you good. know, you brought alcohol. I'm not drinking the alcohol. You you brought alcohol for me to drink. You know, I was uh, I've not I've stopped drinking. Good. And I stopped doing pot. Good. I stopped doing it all. Good. Not I was me. doing too much. What about sex? I hope you didn't stop sex. Let's it's not stop the, same. the conversation. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you talk about sex, it means I'm doing her mother. Uh huh. She What's wrong with that? I don't know. Wouldn't I'm that be horrible so different. if he was not doing your mother? That would be You wouldn't be, sad. be here. If I didn't have sex with your mother, <laughs> if I didn't do... And Alex, uh, lean in and listen to this too. If I <laughs> yeah, Alex, didn't... Lean in. If I was not in a room with your mother just pounding her, oh my you God. guys would not be here. <laughs> That's the sound of children being made. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take my anxiety medication before this podcast. <laughs> I'm, I'm having trouble. <laughs> Why? But don't you want them to have fun? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why do you not know? I want you to have fun with your wife, Howie. Yes. So you said this is the first podcast that you've ever done, right? I think yes. Yeah. You're lying, though, because you've been on our podcast before. I'm sorry I was lying. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember? No. So one, our first episode, our first or second episode, Heidi. I promise you, this is the first time I'm sitting here. Doing no, you've been here live. live. But we called you to have you on over oh! the phone, and Tom was at, at the dentist. I was at the dentist with my husband holding and, his hand. Holding his hand. That's how young her husband is. Yes. Because just he to hold his hand, he was scared, and you were holding his head, <laughs> and we could hear the drilling yes. in the background. In fact, do we have a clip of Heidi uh, from? Oh my God. Heidi, it's Howie. Where are you? You're at a dentist? Yeah, my husband is getting his teeth cleaned as we speak. I was going to talk to you about that. So you're holding Tom's hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that him groaning? Oh. Can we talk to Tom for a second? He can. Hi, Tom. He can. His mouth is open. He, this is like getting the mouth guard dog. challenge. <laughs> yeah, try to guess what Heidi's husband is saying while he's getting his teeth cleaned. I forgot. Yeah, so I wasn't lying. It was just, it, it just kind of my mind. Yeah. So I mean, that was it. Pregnant mind. You've oh, only God. been on two podcasts and both of them are ours. Now, you know, you're not allowed yeah. to go on another podcast now. Just like, exclusively Howie Mandel does stuff. You know, I've been getting philosophical lately. Yeah. And if you give a man a fish, mm-hmm. right, he'll, he'll eat for a day. If you give a man a fishing pole, he'll say, how the fuck am I supposed to eat that? You're right. How about if you give a man a hedgehog? Ah, He'll eat that. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Sorry, the kids are here. (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I knew that it was going to go here. I love it. (laughs) Every time, me and Heidi, and people don't, maybe they know this, but when we're on AGT, the most fun is never seen on the show. The most fun. Why? Because they can't air it? Yes, uh. and we we can on the on the podcast. But the things that we say, the weird things that happen behind the scenes, are always fun. And we are legitimately. It sounds kind of corny, you know. We legitimately love each other. We are like a family yeah. on that show. Yeah, and we're not we're not creating you know um, creating it for the television show. It is real, and we look forward. I look forward to going to work. Me too. Every day. And I, I learn. It's and the I craziest learn. job on the planet. It did really... they announce are all of you coming back? No. Yeah. Oh. But oh. we just did. Hi. Yeah, we're all coming back. <laughs> Sorry. We're all coming back and we are so. We're back. And it is so much fun. And I got to say that, you know, I think that you are amazing at what you do there, too. And people don't know. And I, 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 also, I also I'm going to be a little defensive, too. You get a hard time. People give you a hard time sometimes even with the comedy. 
you know, and they go, you're really hard on the comics. And I don't think she's hard on the comics at all. The one thing that I love about Heidi and as a friend and as a human being and as a parent is her honesty. And if it doesn't make her laugh, she says, that didn't make me laugh. And for her to be in this country, being raised in another culture, in another language, and to, I, I promise you that if I watched a German comic right now, I don't know, unless it's a clear joke, the fact that she's able to communicate, broadcast, be an Emmy award winning host. I mean, you in, sound like I just came yesterday and I don't speak the no, language. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's like I it's not like I don't get the jokes by like purely no, but, what they're saying. It's just that it's not funny to me. And that's you but know? that's the key. But I'm I, just saying, I but I think no they, idea what that's like. You know? Yeah. Anyway, the the point being that I think you are a good <laughs> if 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 you can make Heidi laugh, yeah, you will probably win the show. Yeah. Or do really well. I wrote Obviously. a new book. It's called Hyperbole, Exaggeration, and Lies. It's the most awesome, amazing, fantastic, incredible book ever read. I wrote it. Did that make you laugh, Heidi? No. See? She's honest. <laughs> but, you know, you only, only need to, you only need to find one person that um, finds it funny, and that is yourself, yes? Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> boo 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 thinks it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was from the psychic thing. That was a callback from Ooh, earlier. March 28th through April 3rd. I did get a submission about AGT and it involved you as well, Heidi. Yeah. Um, and I was going to pull it up for you guys to read. <laughs> Hold on. It was a really good one. Well, let us be the judge of that. Okay. We're judges. Oh, wait. Not this. Not this. <laughs> not that. The, the, the so one, prepared. We're the, so prepared the first on this line, show. <laughs> the first line said, I love your work on AGT. And you went, not this. I love your work, especially <laughs> on AGT. I'm 55 years it's old. Active, active in the oh, you finance could, you world. Have never tried to reach out to a celebrity. But the sad news about Nightbird today reminds me of the most sincere expression I've ever seen on the face of a celebrity see attached while on the set but not acting, which was your expression after Jane brought Simon to tears with her famous you can't wait statement. Thank you for being the real deal, Paul. Hmm. That was who, whose expression? No, you want us to comment? You guys. Well, it's not our expression. That's, you know, the beauty of that show is, you know, we didn't know before she walked out on stage that she was ill. And Nightbird, you know, she, uh, we all commented, you know, this week she, mm -hmm. we lost her. Um, she, uh, it's, it, you know, the show is real. It's not pretend. And we, uh, the beauty and the hell of the show is we get to see real people going through real things in real time. And uh, we relate, you know, we relate. And it's, it, that was, she was heartbreaking and her words were heartbreaking. And, you know, she's just, at that time, she was just 30 years old, you know, and you think, oh my God, this is like my child. And Heidi's thinking, oh my God, this is like my husband. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I'm so, sorry to say, right? No, but I, I don't know what the question was. We shouldn't be laughing. There was no, no question. They were, They're saying how sincere your guys' reaction but was. She's, but that's the, that, that kind of speaks to what we were just talking about. Whether you're judging somebody's comedy or something's happening, none of this is pretending. You know, we don't pretend on our show. And that's why it's a good show. No, sometimes it's literally like someone takes their hand and slaps you right in the face when you hear some of those things because you just can't believe it. Or remember this lady that, um, what's her name? She was the only survivor in a plane crash. Ke uh, catchy. 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 And she was literally burned. From head to toe. From head to toe. Like maybe 90% of her skin. So. Yeah, she was in a plane crash with a class. <laughs> and she was the only survivor. And she came on and sang. And you're just sitting there and going, oh yeah. my God, this is like the most horrific it is definitely a roller coaster of emotion, the show, you know, because most of the time we're there to have fun, you know, bringing good vibes to everyone at home. And then, boom, all of a sudden, you know, someone like that comes out and tells their story. And then you go like, 
But it's we like a template anything. for life. You know, don't we get up every day just to try to have the best day we can? Yeah. And then, you know, life sometimes just hits you in the, in the face. And But we get to go through all this together. And I can't think of anybody I'd rather do this with than you and Sophia and Simon. And it's just this, this group. And Terry. It's just a fun group. Uh, it's the best job I've ever had. I've got to do I a agree. lot in this business. This is the best job. And, it, uh, you know, I, I, I'm so thrilled that you would even say yes and show up here today. You always show up when I ask you to do things. Of course things. I do. I you love do. you. I love you too. The last time we were here, our, uh, for those that don't know, we were, um, I'm, I'm do this from Van Nuys, California. And um, I think on Roku, they still run that Kirby Jenner show, right? What's the name of the show? Is it called Life with Kirby? Oh, yeah, that was funny. I remember that. You came we were in, running you, outside. You were in Food <laughs> for Less yeah. with Kirby Jenner, who yeah. is great on Instagram and uh, playing his girlfriend. And it was just funny watching the faces of people in Food for Less um, in Van Nuys, watching Heidi Klum and Kirby Jenner have a, uh, a little tryst. I don't even know if that's the right word, Thing. tryst. What? A little thing. A little, a little thing. thing. I little love, thing. I, and, and how great she's is it? She's correcting you. That she corrected me <laughs> to give me the right word. And she's actually right. But you, <laughs> and I'm wrong. But you are, like you said, so busy. Like, you know, everyone says that Ryan Seacrest is the hardest working man in show business. I think you give him a run for your for his money. So well, when, I'm doing Germany at the same time. That's insane. You're like back and forth. <laughs> she means right? the show. Germany's next I top model. She's not doing Germany. <laughs> Literally, yesterday was my last day of three months of filming um, Germany's Next Top Model. At the same time as doing the Amazon show, right? I know I was talking I to Dina. I did that before Christmas. And then um, I had a little corona over the holidays so that I'm back <laughs> when we started. Did you get sick? How, how were you affected by it? It was fine. I mean, I had the shivers. I had 103. I was in bed for like a good week. Did uh, Tom get sick? Yeah, my whole house. All the kids? Everyone. Everyone? No, not true. Lou didn't. I didn't. And like the French. <laughs> not you, Lou. Her, oh. his, her daughter. Like my the, little Lou, my, my daughter. But like the French. No, but I saw whenever you were on AGT, you had just come back like that night from traveling. You're always yeah. traveling and going somewhere else and working. Like, are you ever going to stop yeah. or retire or slow down? You don't stop. At some point, I have to. No, I'll, I'll say, how are you doing? You know, we, we show up early in the morning to do something. She goes, oh, I was up till three. That's true. I went to a concert. I had to go to a party. <laughs> no, I I'm went always a... like, or even when I don't go anywhere, just being at home with my husband. We're up till three, four in the morning. What are you doing? You know, you know, <laughs> you know. They can't see that. They on can't the see. But <laughs> watch got, on YouTube. <laughs> yes, she's, got, she's she's doing things for the. <laughs> she's doing things that twelve-year-old oh, boys do. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. It's funny. I can see my friend Jeff trying. What is she doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. Like the French say, sometimes life is coupe de la Yeah. <laughs> Lou loves Lou. As long as you can make yourself laugh, right, Lou? Uh, she said, yeah. one person. Yeah. It's me. Yeah. I mean, I've been with my husband for four years, but it feels like still the first week when we just met. Really? Yeah. Uh, have you... Uh, an, uh, so you're still getting to you, know him. Yeah. What, what is the, the secret? Like, Every do you fight? Every crevice of him. Every crevice of him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is it? Do you fight? Do you guys fight? Not a whole lot. If right. you, if I would have to think of something right now, no. My no. mother was a fighter whole her whole life, and I didn't know how big of a fighter and how good of a fighter she was until I saw her in the ring with Dermot Rooney. Yeah, she was a great fighter, yeah. big fighter. In '92, she was '92. <laughs> And when she died, she Aww. owed me ten dollars. I'll never see that fucking money again. Aww. Do you have any questions, Heidi, or do you want to? Add How about anything? anyone from the back? If anyone has any questions, <laughs> Jeff, do you have a question for Heidi? Later. Come to the mic. Does he? No. <laughs> No, my friend Jeff came in. He never comes in to see the show. Come and sit here, Jeff. Sit there. Uh, sit there. Yeah, he's yeah. coming in. <laughs> you don't have to ask him twice. <laughs> <laughs> he loves you. Now he's going to be tongue-tied. Jeff, you want a little bit of my strudel? Do you want a little bit of my strudel? Hi, Han. <laughs> he's yelling at his wife. You want a little strudel? Oh. You, know you know what they say about if you... You're, I don't can... I'm tongue-tied. Yeah, you are. Uh, that's you, good. You meet, you meet a famous actor or something, and yeah. you're always disappointed. Yeah, I'm not disappointed. 
You don't touch. Oh. Don't touch. He's not disappointed. He's not disappointed. <laughs> Do you want the beer that Howie's not drinking? I don't drink beer, but you got any other... Uh... No, you don't, can't order Why? shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you not drink beer? Because I'm old. I've gout. Oh, that's... Wow. Is that... Beer's terrible. Red wine's fine. It's, all, it's all bad. What is I gout? Just, it's uh, an old man's... Uh, Disease. It's uh, too much uric acid. Is what and what happens, yeah, what happens when you go? What happens when you have your happen? toes? It's, it's, between your it's, toes. it's really weird. It's but between your toes? No, no, it's your big toe. It's your big toe. <laughs> Show it's me. Start, it, it, I don't have it now. I take medication. What does it look? A goat it just like? swells up. Ugh. It starts. The first episode is 3 o'clock in the morning. All of a sudden, you're going to be sleeping, and your toe is just going to blow it's up. A series? You series? You can actually, yeah. First episode? Wow. And, Gout talk. And then... Um, <laughs> your it, toe blows up. Your, it, it's your it joint. You, so you have these little crystals <laughs> that that will start, like, sounds dagging delicious. in your joints. And it, oh, my it, God. You Googled you, oh, it. Oh, there you go. There yeah. you go. Oh. Oh, wait it's a, a minute. It's, a, it's attractive. Yes. Oh, so that's what's so in your feet. it's on your bones. It's on your bone. But if you take uh, medication, then you just go ahead and eat That's good. You, you, you meet the, the, the woman of your dreams, and it's within two minutes, you... Well, I told you about to toe. I told you about feet. Quickly. We had that conversation today about my wife's feet. It's kind of like how do you call <laughs> this thing that bumps out on did the we side? Not? Not we did. Oh, you want to talk? Bunion. Bunion. It's like bunion. a bunion on. Well, it's not a bunion. It's like but, a bunion on steroids. But so my my problem is that everybody teases me because I have a nose fetish. You have a perfect nose. Hang on a second. You're and, sitting next to Heidi Klum and you're talking about. Gout? No, 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 no. So you have nose fetish? But, yeah, he oh, does. Yeah. What do you think of my nose? Oh, it's perfect. It's, it's perfect. What do you think of my nose, buddy? But um, <laughs> for a guy, it's fine. If it's on a woman. No, but face, okay. Finish with her. Talk to her. Okay, but no, people say, you know, how can you just like a girl for? But what if you have a foot fetish, do you, do, do you have a foot fetish? What Some guys think, have a foot fetish. What do you think of my feet? My, my, I don't have a foot fetish. My wife's feet were just. I mean, she had surgery on six toes. What am I? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Fucked up too. Where? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your 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 toe. You got a bunion there. You got that sticking. Oh, I can't touch. Hold on. Oh, I just tried to clean the spot. Sorry, hon. <laughs> what okay. is going You don't on like her right feet? Now? Well, no. I mean, I told you I'm not into a foot fetish. But no, her feet are, that's her worst. Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, look at my it. feet, Howie. Come over here and look at no. them. No, I'm letting by him way, judge your way, feet. Wearing these shoes no, is probably you, not he's a. he's not a professional judge. You are. No, is no, he, is he, be, is he embarrassing you about your feet? You know who has the nicest feet? Hold on a second. Wait a second. Wait, wait. Your left foot's better than your right foot, though. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, look at, see that bump? See that thing right there? Yeah, yeah it's these shoes. Because well, look, th it's that's so small. Gonna, that's going to cause problems. Try that's gonna and be squeeze shaved. your foot I, no, into I, this no. skinny the, little Why do you guys do that? Heel. How tall are you? 5'9". So why do you need heels? Because they look pretty. Okay. Well. Don't you agree? Yeah, but the, the toe, well, the shoe covers the toe, so you're good. But the thing is. <laughs> See, look, it's got to go in there. So it's small. So what they must no. do, they're like this, and then they have to squeeze. I know. Like I, this I know. to fit. He's just uh, staring at her. He's just staring at her. The anatomy of a foot. So, it's so crazy. Well, I'd like to see. It's so crazy. I mean, I'm you're so, her feet. come and have a look. You're professional. No, he knows feet. feet. No, please come and look. Uh, look at your okay, feet. Look at the feet. Hey, honey, bring your come and have bring my wife and let her show your fur feet. Yeah, why don't we look at my your dad feet is probably right let's let's have a look at your gout. My dad. Uh, no, I don't have gout. It's not. I mean, <laughs> I had it. She has nice feet, but I think she has nice feet. You don't like uh, Heidi Klum's feet. I think there's so many, but every part of her body's that, that's her worst. Her that. That's <laughs> oh my God. Worst. Why? Why? But even that well, is beautiful, my friend. Yeah, no, Lou, let him yeah. let him judge. He knows what he's talking about. What what you don't like her feet? I'm, I I would. I would um, give her a green card, you know, come back. You know, she would get a yes in the vote. I think a you should take a card. photo. You know, I don't know what you call it. I think you should take He's a photo. He's saying that because she's a foreign. I think you should yes. take a photo of my feet and tweet it out, and let's see what they say. Okay. I think so, too. Yeah, okay. go ahead. Okay, go. Jeff's just going <laughs> to... Jeff's taking a photo of your feet, but he's not going to tweet it. Do we get that hedge thing something? Make sure no. that the chocolate's not in it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Can we do something? Like, if you, you want to see this photo. You just spread your feet a little bit because the bones got to stick out. What? No, you're putting the bones together. Make your so. feet smile. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, you're, you're cheating. What is she cheating? How can I be cheating? That's her feet. She, you're telling her she doesn't know how to pose? Did, are you telling me I don't know how to pose? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, okay. No, all right. Man, uh, okay, tweet whoa, this oh, out. Who's me. that? Who is this? It's Lou. Someone is calling us back. Lou, who's calling? Uh, let me find out. Maybe, oh, return call from maybe a phone you made. Who is it? How are you to ask to her? Nope. Okay, just hang up. I think my feet could be worse. 
Oh, oh, absolutely. You know, I've been in heels. You, but no, but no, this no, is no. you no. spend well, five minutes I'm, with Heidi Klum and you tell her her feet, feet are. I'm not it. You know, if you don't tell someone who's perfect something wrong, then they're gonna think you're lying. So now she knows that everything I've said. You were tongue tied is... until you decided to criticize her feet. Like you couldn't no. say anything else until. Well, I was you... kind of shocked when I saw her take hey, the first hey, shoe hey, off. Look up my nose. What? Look up my nose. Oh no 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 no. Can no, you no. see my underwear? I see. Uh, a, wait, yeah. I see a hedgehog. What is going on on this episode now? We've lost it. I don't know. The episode has actually been over for about five, six minutes. It really has. <laughs> is this just the bonus footage? Uh, this is bonus, bonus. footage? <laughs> bonus footage. No, actually, no, no, no. Footage. actually, I was auditioning for Lou's job. So let me ask you something. You got it. She's the deaf. doctor says when you have gout, you can't drink beer? No, no. It says you can't eat red meat, shellfish, and all these things. I do it all. I cheat. But I had... Three beers one day and it just blew up. So I figured, yeah, I don't need oh, beer. Oh, really? Yeah. I have Dana a beer. You know what? You want to have a beer with me? I'll have a beer with you. What's I mean, it all I, I mean, I finish it, but Howie is not drinking anymore. Okay. So oh. don't, don't. I don't want you to get gout. I'm not going to get gout. I just, no. Gout. Dana, tell him not Dana. to have the beer. Here, please. She tells me what I can do. You're not drinking do. either. Uh, okay, no, but I tasted it. I oh, see that. But it's it was, over, right? Like is it? Is this over? Is this done? Is the is the podcast over? No. We're still alive. No. Cheers. Wait, wait. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. To no more gout. Heidi All right. Too. Heidi Klum. You check out, what should we check out? Uh, tell us where to get the shows and everything. Do your plugs. Do quick plugs. Um, well, obviously your Instagram, which you don't need to plug, but that's where you promote everything and you can get all the information on there, right? Just check out the, the Am Instagram. The all Amazon right. show, but check out the uh, the new, is, is that going to be part of an album? You want to sell the single, right? Chai, uh, Chi? Chai tea. <laughs> chai, chai tea. It's chai, chai, chai tea, tea with tea. Heidi. Chai tea I've with Heidi. I've never had chai tea in my life until then. And I was like, now that it's called chai tea with Heidi. Who wrote that song? My husband did. Oh, wow. Yeah. Congratulations. I didn't even know that. Yeah. So can chai we, tea with Heidi. Um, can, we, can we, after this, can we learn the dance? Yes. Okay. And we'll do a TikTok? Yes. Yeah. Let's do a TikTok to the dance. Yes. Together. We'll do that. Um, also, uh, they're, they're great. And they have new music, Tokyo Hotel, mm -hmm. wherever you download and stream your music. Check out all their new, do they have a new, th uh, they've had new things in yeah. the last couple it's of months. It's called Bad Love. It's a new song. You want to play it? I'll, I'll play some Bad Love. Google it. What was his uh, inspiration for Bad Love? It's his brother. Oh, okay. It's, not you. I hope not. Are we looking at gout still? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is their new song. This is the new song, yeah. Tokyo Hotel. Oh, yeah, let's see it. Oh, did this they is not? your husband? Oh. That's, no, that's no, my husband's brother. brother. Oh. But they look, they're they look the same. They're, they're, well, sort of. Oh, look, it's with the lyrics. We can sing along. Oh, that's what <laughs> Any opportunity for Heidi to sing. Louder! Where are the words? It said with lyrics. Another bad love, another bad love. I gave her sacrifices, take you to paradise. That's I'll my be there now. by your side, or close behind your family. I've been to thousand places, I crossed the seven seas. I see you everywhere, but like you it. don't even notice me. Wait. Again and again and again, I'm all caught up. All caught up. Made a fool of myself because I thought you were the one. No, no, no. But you want to leave something to the imagination. You want them to. So Tokyo Hotel has music. Amazon has making the cut. Yes. Um, if you're listening in Germany, Germany's Pro next Sieben. top. Uh, German next. Germany's next top model. That's English. That's yes, in, you can say it. I, I'm saying it in English. Yeah. But is what? How do you say it in German? Germany's next top model. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm fluent in that. <laughs> Check out uh, AGT. We're going to start in a couple of weeks. We're going to start taping that. Are they? Are you still selling? We love uh, the, the no. shirt. No. Oh, and I won't bring that up. And also go get Heidi by Rankin and whatever Heidi Klum does and whatever Lainey Klum.
follow her on Instagram. Lainey's got a whole career herself. These are the best people, the best stuff. Um, everything is amazing, <laughs> apparently, except her feet. <laughs> buy, uh, buy our uh, merch. We have a lot of merch. We're selling do stuff merch. I need that. You want that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's yours? <laughs> because in the morning, I need to do stuff. Do you do stuff in the morning? A lot. What do you do in the morning? You know, stuff. Oh my gosh, again. So, and buy our merch, review, subscribe, <laughs> download, and then uh, you tell us when we're going to end this, Heidi. Now. Warm. Oh, okay. Well, it's been sitting here for an hour. You're amazing. Heidi, that was so much fun.